first of all, you know, welcome to welcome to America. How have you been enjoying your trip so far? Well, we came uh, yesterday here to Louisville. Oh, you just got in yesterday? Yeah, but we went to Houston before. We did a training camp in uh, Cleveland, Texas. Oh, so you went from nice warm weather down there to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so after the last World Cup in Ogreide, we... Uh, we came to America to do some uh, some good trainings there, and uh, so we arrived here yesterday. It was pretty warm, actually, and now it's yeah, freezing cold. Yeah. Freezing cold. <laughs> and you went out to the course today. Yeah. How how did you like it? Yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. It's uh, it's more the morning than we thought because the, the stories we, we heard and the videos I've seen on the internet it was fast and mm -hmm. yeah, not so technical but I think it's, it's gonna be pretty hard and uh, and slippery. Yeah. Do you think it's uh, do you think it's a course that's well suited for the Europeans versus the Americans now that it's uh, muddier and slippery? Uh, I, I don't think it's. There's a European uh, course or an, an American course. Everybody personal has a has a favorite course, and uh, I'm sure uh, there are Ameri Americans who like uh, a fast course and uh, and not so technical. But uh, mm -hmm. there are also Americans that like the more more the math. So yeah, we'll see. That's that's not European versus American. That's <laughs> personal. So what's what's personally your favorite kind of course then? Well, for me, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't really care about the course. Uh, last year was sent uh, in the Worlds in the Cookside. And uh, we've had... Went pretty well there for you. Yeah, we've had fast Worlds, but uh, yeah, this year has been a lot of mud. And mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it's going to be cool if it's, it's a, a bit muddy and slippery. Yeah, so we haven't seen, I mean, we've seen you out during this cross season, but not quite as much as we did maybe last season. Are you feeling still totally ready and prepared for Worlds? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, like last season's, actually I've, I've done uh, races from the beginning of beginning of December, half of December, until the Worlds. Mm -hmm. So that's one and a half month, and that's the same with what I did this year. And the first few races were pretty hard, I had some, some troubles, I struggled a, a little, but then uh, yeah, in the beginning of January I got into the rhythm and now I feel totally ready for the race. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you handle during you know, such a big road season and then going into cross? Do you, you purposely take the first part of the season off for that reason? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> not really possible to go through and... Uh, yeah, after road season, after the, the Worlds, and especially after this season with the, with the Olympic Games, mm -hmm. I definitely needed some rest. <laughs> I think you deserve so some rest uh, after that, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I, I needed it. I deserved it, but I needed it uh, for sure. I was uh, yeah. mentally, but also physically uh, yeah, yeah. tired, so I needed the rest. And I started uh, building up my trainings again in the uh, beginning of November, and then in the end, end of November. We did the first race and built up again in South Africa, and then I got into the, the cyclical season. Um, so, were you excited when you found out Cross was going to be in the U.S.? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool that it's the first time uh, overseas. Yeah, because it's uh, yeah, it's not a, a really big sport. And it's good to get it more international and have it the first time here. And I've heard some good stories about cyclocross in America. And uh, it's pretty cool here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm. I hope to be surprised on, uh, on Sunday about the uh, about the crowds. I think I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. It's, I think 5,000 tickets sold. So I know it's it's not Cockside, but yeah. we'll we'll do our best, I guess. Yeah. Um, so Katie Compton is obviously your, your biggest competitor. How do you think she's going to fare on the course if it's muddier? I think she'll be really happy. I think <laughs> yeah, after, after uh, she's seen the course today, I think she, she will be uh, really happy uh, yeah. to go to sleep tonight because yes, she's really strong and if she can use her power then she will be, uh, yeah, that, that's her best. Yeah. So what did you think, uh, so a lot of the women couldn't make it over, like they sent, a lot of the teams are sending just very, very few women 
you know, other than I think the U.S. and the Canadian teams are the only two that sent as many riders as they possibly could. What do you think about that? Do you think this is like a good thing for women's cycling that like having worlds in the U.S. or? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to have it overseas and of course it's not only for the women's field but also for the, for the other teams yeah. that, that are not, uh, not all the teams are uh, fully uh, done, also for the, for the Dutch, we, uh, yeah. we only have uh, three elite men, three um, juniors, three women. So yeah, Did that's, you have that's why it's, uh, yeah, that's because it's in America yeah. and of course every team sends their best riders and there's, exactly. there's nobody home that could be world champion at least. Yeah. Because uh, of that reason. Yeah. Did you have to bring less gear and stuff than you normally would to a, a world's race? Well, or maybe some less, but we have all the stuff that we need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the important things. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Is there anything you want to do while you're in Louisville that uh, outside of racing your bike? Um, well, we don't have that much time. Yeah. Fly back on oh, Monday. oh, right. You're racing on Wednesday, right? Or are you? I know there are races in Europe next week, or oh, are you no, just no, done? No, no, no. I won't race on Wednesday. I will race next weekend again. Okay. Not on Wednesday, but I'll fly back on Monday. Okay. So it's not going to be much time, uh, but it was, it was good to see something of, of America and Texas. It's not Kentucky, but it was <laughs> good to see something. In, uh, yeah, feel something about the different culture. Very cool.